We make healthy food. Sometimes we make like pancakes, sausages. You can learn to make new friends. Instead of staying upstairs playing PlayStation, just can come down here, have fun. Always have a smile on your face. Run my scooter around, play handball. Yes, I really enjoy it. <laughs> what would you like to say? I like eating bananas as well. Uh, so we're in Chifley, which is a little suburb between La Perouse, Little Bay and Malabar. So I guess the aim is to normalise healthy lifestyle to these kids and to expose them to new foods, but also normalise that. So initially, veggies were almost a bad word, and now the kids they don't bite us on them and we have parents coming down asking us for recipes because their teenagers don't eat vegetables but they liked the healthy burgers that we made. So I guess normalising healthy is a big part of the end game for us. Nama's Hands Down is probably my favourite program. There's a lot of kids, you know, that uh, stay inside, they're like, they're like they're playing the games, they like stay on their phones. And I'm really we're here trying to encourage them to get outside, run around, be active. I just want them to be themselves, be the kids that they need to be, and also create a safe space for them just to come into it. What I like to say, I like to say, um, I'm like, I'm like, I'm grateful that they're doing this for um, kids around this area because I feel like if they didn't, yeah, it's a lot less socialising, definitely, and um, it, it'd just be a whole lot different if they didn't do what they did. And I like to paint. The program's lovely. Okay, I'm Nikki. I've lived at Namatjira for about 10 years and I started volunteering with Cool Kids approximately seven years ago. Well, for the children themselves, I think it gives them a lot more confidence. They come down, they learn to prepare healthy food, they help with the cooking, they learn to use the knives safely, um, hygiene and preparation of food. The, the program has made a huge improvement to the community. It's given the children an outlet. It gives them somewhere to come to. We had some special cookbooks that the children learned to cook meals out of. And then one Christmas, they all received a small blender because they learned to make smoothies. So they go back to their families and teach their families about a bit more about healthy eating, show them what they've been preparing. Um, they can help out at dinner time or if they get home early, start the dinner. Yeah, and sometimes they've had a rough day at school and they just want to sit and talk to you about it um, or they'll just go out and play it just depends every day is different. I also find that like it gives them the parents and the carers a break for just that hour or two so they can like do the washing it just gives them more time to be able to do what they need to do. It kind of makes us more of a family like we can all um, enjoy it together and join in together.